morning YouTube Dogfoot9 here and welcome to uh, my first episode of this new series I'm going to be starting because yes well on Friday I stopped the, um, the first impressions so today I'm going to be doing cool classes and in cool classes I'm going to be showing you um, weapons which are really good and then I'm going to be showing you um, how to use them and how I see best to use them and I'm going to be showing you a ver variety of gameplay, not just on close quarters or the normal maps. I'm going to be showing you long distance engagements on maps and um, short range and everything. So you guys can see a feel, uh, like you guys can see how it varies um, at different ranges and things. So today's class is going to be the AEK971. I think that's how. It, I think that's how it, what it's called. I just call it the AEK. And it's going to have red dot sight, or whichever sight you want, because it doesn't really matter. With foregrip, heavy barrel, and then it's going to be obviously the assault class. It's going to have the G18 with it, the health pack, and the defibrillators, which I just like that combination. And I'm still trying to unlock that um, cool um, clan tag you get with um, the F2000 and squad heels, so that's what I was trying to do quite a bit while I was using this class. So what I've got to say about this class, it's, it's really, really good, because um, one thing it cuts out is the AEK, AEK's the, um, horizontal recoil, which um, it's got a bit of, um, it's not got that much, but with the foregrip it cuts it out, but the foregrip doesn't change the vertical recoil, and the heavy barrel slightly adds a bit on. But the thing is with vertical recoil, it's far easier to manage than um, horizontal recoil because all you have to do is pull down on the analog stick whatever it's called, the stick I just call it um, right stick and then you've pretty much got rid of your recoil and then the heavy barrel give you, gives you that bonus of um, um, more, I think it's bullet velocity, so I think it's less bullet drop or something like that. But it gives you a bit of an advantage over range, and that can sometimes um, be the difference between life or death on the battlefield, as I'm sure quite a lot of you know. Mainly because um, you've probably been playing this game, um, I think it's six months now, six, seven, eight months now, but I still think it's quite a cool game. <laughs> but um, not talking about the game at the moment, we're talking about this class. So I think it's a really, really, really good class. You can use it on any style or any sort of map, because in any sort of map you want to be getting your shots on target. And this is a sort of, and with the AEK like this, you can get all your shots on target near enough. There's a couple of long range shots, I think you just saw one a minute ago, and it was quite good, um, I must admit. And also the, the um, close range engagements aren't bad either. Because the AEK has got a really um, high fire rate, so that's good for it as well. So I'm sorry I've got this um, bit of a bad voice, but I've only just woken up. So, <laughs> you're going to have to bear with me a bit there. And also my voice is going a bit, because i just got a sore throat and stuff. So, back onto the gameplay. I have been. I think this is on back to car can gameplay and close quarters gameplay. Because I'm sure you guys have seen enough of the normal maps. So, but I will be showing you normal maps. I've just... I just had the urge to play back to car and and close quarters when I wanted to film this. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, but um, I've been playing Rush a lot recently and I found this class was quite good because you can take out defenders before you even get to the MCOMs with this class and then sneak around back of them even and blow them to pieces. It's a really good class as well. Uh, and I know that um, one of the statistics statistics with the heavy barrel is it's supposed to decrease your um, hit fire spread but I haven't really seen a difference really but look at this this is just um, so one of my friends um, on the MCON station so I thought I'd bring the tank along um, I could have used the AK a a a a a a from this distance, distance but I decided just to bring the tank along and destroy everyone so I thought I'd just throw that clip in there for you guys just a bit of variation so um, I've been playing Wake Island Sharky Peninsula on this bit and it really does fare well because those two maps are quite open when you're playing Rush um, but around the MCOMs they're quite close together so that shows you how easy it is this gun varies in those different um, encounters so 
I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Cool Classes. I'll be doing this like once or twice a week. And I really like doing this like highlight style of gameplay. Just like montage style of gameplay. Just without the music. But with me commentating over it. So I hope you guys enjoy it as well. And please leave a like if you have. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys later. Which I'll probably do a normal commentary. Because I haven't done one of those in a while. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.